What is up, people? Welcome back. Today, we're going to watch the Demon Souls gameplay trailer together. I'm going to talk about my initial impressions and thoughts. Then we're going to have a bit of a closer look. And finally, we're going to talk about the PC port that was announced and unannounced within a couple of hours. Uh, what the hell is going on there? It remains to be seen. Right, let's go. Demon Souls gameplay trailer. Best hub in all of Souls this is, and look how good it looks. Holy crap. It sounds like the voice lines have been redone, however, I believe it is the same voice actress. Yeah, I can't quite believe how good this looks, man. I've been playing the original Demon Souls on the channel. You should all check that out. I'm about halfway through, but holy crap, it's a night and day difference, dude. The visuals look absolutely next level good. We've never seen a Souls game with this level of graphical fidelity. And yeah, it is the first next-gen Souls title. We haven't yet seen Elden Ring, but either way, this looks jaw-droppingly gorgeous, if you ask me. Mantling! There it is. The mantling is still here. Did you notice a ladder there? I didn't think you could get back up there in the original. My first impression watching this was how this guy be fast rolling in full fluted armor, though. But we don't know whether this is, you know, a build that has been specifically put together for this showcase. We don't necessarily know if this is like the start of a new playthrough. It doesn't seem that way. Damage just seems a little bit off here. But we don't know what's really going on. This guy be one-shotting people and you wouldn't on a new character and also you would be fat rolling. So I'm going to assume that this is kind of just to show off certain elements of the game. It's not necessarily um, a reflection of a new playthrough, right? You gotta wonder though, maybe they've changed rolling altogether. Maybe fast rolling is the norm like Dark Souls 3. Who knows? I didn't think you could parry the shield bash. Perhaps they've changed that. They've tightened up the repost animation, which is nice. It looks so jank in the original. I have to I have to say though, it appears that the um field of view is a lot more narrow than the original, and I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Uh, the camera seems a lot more zoomed in, which might be an issue in a game like Demon Souls. I don't know, dude. This area looks great, but it doesn't show off much in the way of gameplay. I think the tutorial was kind of an odd choice there. I honestly think 1-1 would have been a better shout to show off some gameplay. Uh, it's far more expansive, there's a lot more going on, but I reckon they might have been a little bit concerned about difficulty being like a barrier of entry for people. So they opted to show off what is considered to be quite an easy area. But there's a whole lot of this guy just running, and I know like perhaps we're supposed to just soak up the scenery, but... As for a gameplay reveal, uh, there's not much going on really. That's not to say I wasn't blown away, I was. This game does look dope, dude. Also, we haven't seen the grass system, so we have no idea if healing has been changed at all or tweaked. Who knows? This you died text here looks really naff. And I'm going to assume it was added in post. Armored spider. Oh, it does look good though, doesn't it? Holy crap. Why are you running towards that though? Oh, Latria. I cannot wait to see Latria remastered. Remade. Reimagined. Oh, Latria, dude. This attack here is new, I think. This ain't going to be no one-for-one one remake. It's very much going to be a reimagining. At least that's the impression I get. I shall await thy return, Slayer of Demons. Slayer of Demons. Man, I just about jizzed myself. Right, look at this here. Not available on other consoles for a limited time. Also available on PC. Sony have since addressed this and confirmed that it was a mistake and that the game is in fact PlayStation 5 exclusive. It's also a launch title, apparently. However, that wasn't made clear by the trailer, which is an odd decision, considering this might be the best launch title available for the PlayStation 5. So is this game coming to PC? Well, we don't know. 
If we are to trust Sony, it is a PlayStation 5 exclusive. Although, we could also assume that it is coming to PC. They just didn't want to confirm that so early on as to not deter sales. Myself and many others on Twitter were very quick to celebrate thinking, hey, we don't need to buy a PlayStation 5 to play this. This game is the only reason I had considered buying a PlayStation 5. I had always assumed it was an exclusive. So if it isn't, I'm just going to get it on PC, right? There is also a chance that this was just a genuine mistake. If we look at the image here, notice how the footnote has no asterisk that it actually corresponds to. This leads me to believe that this was in fact an error and perhaps they had like a number of templates for these like post gameplay trailer reveals and just happened to use the wrong one. However, for a company like Sony, that is a monumental, get it, mistake to make. And uh, I definitely got my hopes up thinking I wouldn't have to buy a PlayStation 5 this year. And now I don't really know what to think because although Sony say it is PlayStation 5 exclusive, who knows if it really is? Who knows if they're just kind of keeping the PC port under wraps for now as to not affect sales. Anyway, let's talk about gameplay impressions and thoughts and uh, what we can deduce from the trailer. I'm going to run through the tutorial here on the original using an emulator just to kind of showcase how much has changed and what we can expect moving forward. Let's go. So as I pointed out initially, there's a ladder here now in the remake. And you have to wonder, why would they add a ladder? Why would they allow you to go back up there? The tutorial is pretty much a very linear straight shot to a boss in which you're supposed to die, right? So it is odd that they have now incentivized going back up there for some reason. Who knows? Who knows? So you got to wonder what else have they changed? You know, are there going to be new areas to explore? Can we perhaps get around the world in a way that we couldn't once before? Again, we can only speculate, but it's worth mentioning. Backstabs and reposts have been tightened up and there seems to be a lot more um, audible feedback from the player, if you know what I mean. Lots of grunting and, you know, what you'd expect from someone that was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a bunch of demons, which I think that's a really good choice. That's just only going to add to immersion. It's also rather apparent as I A and B the original and the remake how much more zoomed in the camera is and how much more narrow that field of view is. And I understand that this is a console game and console games typically have a more narrow field of view than, say, a PC counterpart because most players are sitting quite a distance back from their TV on a sofa, right? It is quite jarring going back and forth and having a wider field of view in a Souls game is quite useful because you will often have to keep your eye on multiple targets. It just helps you see more of the world, right? It might be a performance-related thing, who knows? Has to be said though, it seems that level design and enemy encounters remain mostly the same, at least from what we've seen so far, and that is good. However, I'm still not expecting a one-for-one -one remake. I am expecting some changes here and there. There's also even, there's a pre-order bonus, a new weapon, a scythe. And I believe it's the scythe that the Reaper enemies use in Shrine of Storms. So now I'm curious if we'll see even more weapons and perhaps even new weapon types, because there were no scythes in the original. There was the war scythe, but that was a pole arm. So are we going to get new weapons with new move sets altogether? Who knows? I'm going to be saying that a lot. We can only speculate. But let me be clear, though. I am really looking forward to this. Whether we get something that is quite different to the original, whether we get two game modes, one more akin to the original, and one that actually changes some stuff, tweaks some stuff, rebalances the overall game uh, either way i'm stoked and i will be getting this on release i uh, thought i might have saved myself 500 pounds but apparently not it's on pc but it isn't but maybe it is but it isn't jesus sony how are you gonna do people like that madness some quick observations from the bit of footage we saw outside of the tutorial towards the end of the gameplay reveal uh, armored spider has either a new move or it's been tweaked, right? And I think it might be the AOE, but tweaked. Right? If you look at this footage that I recorded the other day, this AOE is some bullshit. <laughs> Fucking hell. You see what I mean? The range is deceptive and I've been pinged. So I'm curious, is this a new move altogether or did they tweak the AOE? Because the AOE 
has such deceptive range that it just doesn't feel fair when you get clipped by it. Sure, you get clipped once and then you know, but it's not clear where you'll actually take damage. So I wouldn't be surprised if they've just adjusted it, right? Also here, I was confused as to what enemy type this was to begin with, but I think it's the borrowers from Stonefang, right? But if you look at the original here, they look radically different. And uh, I know there's been some complaints about certain redesigns so far. One of which was Flame Lurker originally, although it appears that they have somewhat altered his design to be a bit more faithful to the original. But we can still expect that things are going to look a little bit different in some areas. But on the whole, this game is eye candy, dude. I have to say as well, the new OST sounds absolutely incredible. Sounds more in line with the more recent Souls games, if you ask me, so not quite as many brass instruments, but that's fine. There's also what seems to be an abundance of particle effects at pretty much every opportunity, and that's not something I'm opposed to, just you can really tell they're pushing visual fidelity with this. Which is, it's fine, it's a next-gen launch title, allegedly a launch title, although they didn't confirm it in the reveal, it has since been confirmed by a number of people on Twitter and also Sony themselves. But you have to wonder, why wasn't that made clear in the trailer? This whole reveal was a bit ham-fisted, if you ask me. Not only did they accidentally announce it for PC and other consoles and later had to issue a statement to uh, clear up confusion, but also there was no mention that it's a launch title and... Uh, this is a big deal if you consider the amount of people that bought a PS4 for Bloodborne, myself included. You want to make it clear that this game is coming out on launch day, right? So why wasn't it? I'm confused. Anyway, that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. There's not much else left to be said other than this game looks dope and I'm really excited to play it in November. If you are looking for more Demon Souls related content, I am currently doing a full playthrough on my YouTube channel of the original Demon Souls. You can find a link down below. Otherwise, let me know what you think about the gameplay reveal. Are you excited? Are you not? Do you like some of the changes we've seen so far? Are you concerned? Are you gutted about the PC port? That isn't happening. I am. Good God, what an error. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you very, very soon in more content to come. Bang your heads. See you later.